Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial video. In this short tutorial video, I will be showing you how to send USDT from Trust Wallet to Binance. Now, your first step in sending your USDT from the Trust Wallet to Binance is to simply open up the Trust Wallet. The reason we're opening up our Trust Wallet application is to make sure we have some USDT on this wallet. So with the Trust Wallet opened up, use the search icon to simply search for USDT. And with the USDT searched, you can simply provide the network you wish to send your USDT in. So let's say you have some USDT on the Polygon network. In order to send this USDT over, you're going to need the wallet address of your Binance account. So to get this, minimize, open up Binance. Now with Binance opened up, please make sure you have an account. If you do not have an account on Binance, by using our link in the description of the video, you send a chance to claim 100 USDT trading fee rebate when you register and verify your account using our link. So guys, you're on Binance, you've verified your account. How can you receive USDT from Trust Wallet? The deposit icon, click on deposit. And where we have deposit crypto, under I have crypto assets, click on deposit crypto. Use the trending menu to search for USDT or use the search icon to search. So once you've clicked on USDT, you're going to be met with a list of networks you can receive from. Remember, we're using the Polygon network, so click on Polygon. Copy your Polygon deposit address, minimize, and open up Trust Wallet again. All right, guys. So once on Trust Wallet on the Polygon USDT, please make sure you have some Polygon to cover the gas fee. Yes, Matic is needed to cover the gas fee. It's Polygon Matic, which is needed to cover the gas fee when you're sending from your Trust Wallet over to Binance. So click on the send option, paste your address, enter the amount you wish to send, click on next. And you'll be taken to the menu where you have to cover your gas fee, which is quite low. And all you need to do now is click on continue and the transaction will be completed. So guys, that's how you can easily go about this. Comment down below if you have a question and you'll be given an answer. Thank you.